Yeah, um, obviously it's always dangerous going into games when you you want to look before the even whistles uh, been blown. Um, we actually started off the game well, and then before we knew it, we, we had a good chance to to double our lead. Um, hit the crossbar, came back, and then they went and scored. Then about three minutes later, they scored again. So, like within the space of three minutes, we went from being one one up to one down. So obviously done well to get back in the game uh, for half time. Uh, my cameras did well to win us a penalty. And uh, Shane, obviously, knew he weren't going to miss that penalty, so um, very happy to be in the whole square at half time. And then it was all whoever wanted it the most in the second half. I was speaking to a few guys back home, um, back in uh, Charlotte, where they weren't able to watch the game, so they said if you score a goal, uh, do a crazy celebration. So. I just went for the dive over the boards because I always seem to somehow fall over the boards. Um, so this time I was willingly going over and I did a little salmon fish. So I was behind it as well. I was also watching Ian Wright early on in the day. Um, a little 33 on him, so that was quite an inspiration as well. So I was dedicated to him. So no. Yeah, it's special. Um, Obviously, it's a good achievement for me last year to go to Minnesota to play with them and then end up winning the, the playoff championship with them was great, great feeling. But then obviously this year it's even more sweeter so far. Um, Tampa has been very, enjoy very enjoyable to play for. Um, the fans have welcomed me from day one. Um, love playing for Coach Ricky and working with the guys each, each week in out. So... No, it's definitely been very enjoyable and it would just be icing on the cake if we can beat Minnesota in the final.